makeup look here. I really wanted to do something a little bit more on the colour side of things. As you can see, I use like silver eyeshadow, greys, blues, and I have like green, orange, and then I have like this like stone sort of lip. So comment down below and let me know if you want me to do any more sort of cool tone makeup looks. All the products and stuff will be linked down below in the description. Um, I love you guys and I will see you in a wee second. So I've already done my brows just to save some time. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and apply my primer. Today I'm going to be using the Estee Love One Step to Correct Primer. I love this. It makes my skin feel so like moisturised and hydrated. It's kind of like a gel sort of like serum primer. And it kind of has like a wee green tint in it just to like colour correct. For my foundation today I'm going to use an old favourite. I literally haven't used this in months. And I used to be obsessed with this foundation. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Mine is in the shade 6.5. So I'm hoping that this shade will match me because I haven't used this in like forever. But I remember it was kind of like a dark shade, so yeah, it looks dead on. This foundation just reminds me of whenever I went to Glasgow like two years ago because this is where I actually got it the first time. Definitely isn't as like full coverage as what I thought it used to be. Like I remember whenever I used to get this, I used to be like, wow, the coverage is insane in this. But after trying the Hourglass Stick Foundation, I'm like, right, because that's like mega full coverage. Whereas I would say this is more of like a medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable. So now I'm applying like a second layer. So that's pretty much all the areas where I like to highlight and kind of conceal my face. And then I just take my big brush again and then just blend it all out. I'm really sorry if you can see like little like specks of glitter on my face as well, because yesterday I filmed like a golden like glittery festival look and there's literally like glitter all over my wee desk right here. So literally every time I set my brush down, there's like glitter on it. So now what I'm gonna do is take my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed. And um, it's just a pressed translucent powder. And I'm using this just to set my concealer under my eyes, just to make sure that it doesn't crease. And this powder really, really, really mattifies. So if you're looking for a really good, like, mattifying powder, like, look how matte my under eye looks right there compared to this side. It looks all shiny and then this side looks matte. And I also like to apply it, like, around my mouth and, like, my nose and the centre of my forehead too. So I'm going to take my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny and just sort of quickly bronze up my face. I'm not doing any contour, I just want to add some more warmth to my skin just before... I do my eye makeup. I'm going to go back in with that powder from It Cosmetics and just set my eyelids just to make sure that my eyelids are nice and smooth for when I apply my eyeshadow. So for my transition colour, I'm going to be taking the shade Chickadee from Makeup Geek. It's just like a nice like orangey shade. And I'm using this and putting this all through my crease as my transition colour. So what I'm going to do now is take this shade here called Wild West from Makeup Geek also and just apply this through my crease. And then what I'm going to do is take the shade Brownie Points also from Makeup Geek. And it's sort of like a grey, it's sort of like a grey, but it kind of has like a light, slight little like purple tint to it. And with this, I'm just going to put this right on the outer corner. And then what I'm going to do to intensify the outer corner is take the shade Mocha from Makeup Geek. Just take this on my brush and just sort of keep it right on the outer corner here. So I've just zoomed you guys in so you can see a little bit closer. But today I really want to use this um, pigment here from Peaches and Cream. It's in the shade Disco. And it literally looks like a mirror. It's that like metallic reflective. It's like silver. And I'm wearing like a silver choker, so I feel like it would kind of match together. Um, so what I'm gonna do is apply this like right in like the inner corner area. So I'm gonna kind of carve it out again with a little bit of concealer because I want this to really stand out and pop. Because if I was just to apply it right now, it wouldn't really be as intense. Whereas if I lay down like a sticky sort of base and something that's quite pale, it's gonna really stick to it and just look really vibrant. So again, I'm just taking my MAC Studio Fix. Studio Fix, is there a studio finish? Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. Oh my gosh, my room is literally so warm right now and even this concealer is like really soft. So with this, I'm just gonna kind of create like a little kind of half cup crease. Okay, so now that I have that, that I'm gonna go in with the pigment. This is in the shade Disco. And oh my gosh, probably one of the most beautiful things I've seen in a long time. Like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Literally just like a pure silver dust. I'm going to take that same brush that I use with my concealer and just sort of place this on top of where I done my concealer. So I have this blue eyeshadow that I really 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 want to use from Colourpop. Like it's like a blue but it's like purpley reflex right? and I feel like it would look really nice like smoked underneath my lower lash line. So what I'm going to do first of all is take that shade Chickadee again and just really blow this out underneath. So what I'm going to do is take the Colourpop eyeshadow and then what I'm going to do is take the shade uh, Chaos from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. This is like a really, really, really like pigmented royal blue shade. It's really, really, really pretty. And I'm just going to place this sort of like on top of closer to my lash line. And then what I'm going to do is take the shade Trash, which is like a lime green. And I'm going to use this to kind of blend the blue into the orange shade. I'm going to take the tiniest bit of this. Kind of just blend it between the 
blue and the orange shade and then you would want to go back in with that orange shade and just reapply that just to make it really kind of stand out so for my inner corner i'm just going to apply a white eyeshadow this is white lies from makeup geek so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and apply some eyelashes and then i'll be back in two seconds okay so now i have my eyelashes and mascara done i'm going to go ahead and move on to the rest of my face for the contour today i'm going to take my benefit hula bronzer And then to bronzer my skin, I'm going to take the um, Too Faced Endless Summer 16 Hour Longwear Bronzer. I love this one. And then for blush, I'm going to take the Too Faced Sweet Peach Blusher. This is the Papa Don't Peach Blusher. And then for my highlight today, I'm going to take this ColourPop um, Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. It's kind of like a white, kind of like pearly highlight. I'm going to apply this first just to see how it goes. And then if it isn't like intense enough, I'll use something else. If anyone has any ColourPop products, you'll know that they're like the most weirdest consistency ever. Like they're like a cream. Like look how much pigment comes on my finger. But then they sort of like blend out the powder. It's the most weirdest formula ever, but like it works really, really, really well. And then because I always like to go the extra mile, I'm going to take Mary Luminizer, which is sort of similar to that colour that I just used. Only it's a little bit more kind of like darker. Uh, I'm just going to use that on top. combination really makes your highlight completely popping so for my lips today I really want to go for something like gray or something like because I feel like because the eyes have sort of like a gray tone in them I feel like doing something quite like gray would look quite cool so I have this combination here I have this lip pencil in the shade underground from Jord Cosmetic I'm gonna line my lips first of all with this So that's what just the lip liner sort of looks like, just draw it all over my lips. But I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Stone Lipstick and just go over it a wee bit. And then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the Kylie Gloss in So Cute and apply the tiniest bit of this just in the centre, like that, and then just take your finger. And then what I'm going to do now, just to finish off the entire makeup look, I'm going to spray the Tatcha Luminous G Skin Mist. I'm also going to spray a little bit of MAC Fix Plus too. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this wee makeup look. I had so much fun creating it and using all the kind of cool tone shadows because normally I do use more like warmer cranberry oranges stuff like that and in today's video I use like a ton of different colours that I wouldn't normally go for. Yeah don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to click the wee bell so you're notified whenever I upload a video too. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye!